Moon started his first day in office by inspecting the nation's border security and paying tribute to the country's fallen soldiers. Our Pang Wenjun outlines what he went, when, how he went straight to work, as there's no transition period for this particular president. While an inauguration ceremony usually signals the start of a new administration, that wasn't the case for Korea's newly elected president Moon Jae-in. President Moon's term officially commenced at 8:09 a.m. on Wednesday morning. Just a day after the National Election Commission confirmed his victory in Tuesday's election, which he won with over 41 percent of the vote, the NEC presented a written confirmation of Moon's victory, which was accepted by his proxy from the Democratic Party of Korea. Moon began his term by assuming his role as Korea's Commander in Chief. He then spoke by phone with General Lee Sun Jin, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The general briefed Moon on the current national security situation and any movements north of the border. Moon reportedly said that he puts his full trust in Korea's soldiers and asked General Lee to assume a posture of full defense readiness for the sake of the nation's safety. Moon left his home at around 9:20 a.m. and was greeted by his neighbors, who congratulated him before sending him off to fulfill his duty. He then visited Korea's national cemetery at 10 a.m. to pay his respects to Korea's fallen heroes and past presidents. Afterward, he visited Yeouido to meet with the leaders of the opposition parties. Where he asked for their cooperation and support. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.